It's true, it's true, it's true. Artificial intelligence is coming. So, uh, I'm Jeff McMahon. I've been teaching uh, college composition, English, critical thinking for about 32 years. Um, artificial intelligence could be here to wipe me out, to create an existential crisis. Let me, let me explain. About a week ago, I was at an English meeting when Kevin, who's usually very jolly looking, very happy looking, he looked dour, he looked sour, he looked dyspeptic, he looked upset. He stands in front of the, uh, the classroom, there's about uh, 15 of my colleagues, we're having a special meeting, and he looks very worried, you know, he, he furrows his brow and he says, we got a problem. Normally, he says, I get like two students who cheat on their essays. You know, cheating, plagiarism, stealing stuff. Now, we have um, plagiarism detection software at our campus called Turnitin.com. So, he says, I have like a dozen students who try to cheat. And what's scary is, it's a new kind of cheating, he says. It's not where you copy and paste an essay and you just upload it and then turn it in catches it. This is, this is more insidious. This is worse. What he said is there's now these, um, these bots. He used the word bot. Well, they're websites. They're paraphrasing websites. They paraphrase passages for you. And he showed us examples of how these paraphrased passages pass through turnitin.com. It can't detect it cannot detect the passages and he's getting a lot of students who um, they cobble together these uh, paraphrases and they turn in these essays and to me from my point of view that's a lot of work I'd rather just write the essay but I get it uh, people are trying to beat the system and so uh, we got a whole new uh, thing and, and probably have to have more in-class writing to have samples of the students uh, linguistic aptitude and writing style to compare to any kind of uh, potential cheating. Now the good news for my colleague Kevin is that, and he showed us these stolen, uh, plagiarized, uh, paraphrased passages, they look fishy. Yeah, I mean the word choice, the style, you can still catch it, but it looked fishy. So I started thinking, you know, we're not too far from artificial intelligence, AI, from just being able to write a student's essay. I mean, I don't care how much I tailor the essay topic my essay prompt. I, th I think we're almost at the point where AI will be able to respond to any essay prompt and generate any kind of um, essay and it won't be detected by any uh, plagiarism detection software. And um, the good news is that there's probably going to be an AI available so I don't have to grade papers. The AI will be able to grade the papers better than I can. I, is that really good news? Sounds like bad news because then that presents an existential crisis. You know, why do I exist as a college uh, composition instructor? And so I, I really want to present to you uh, an argument that, you know, my days as a college composition instructor could be over for three reasons. One, uh, an artificial intelligence generated writing is probably more going to be more preferred than the time consuming labor of writing a composition in the traditional way we learn the process of writing. Imagine for example a, uh, a student you know, graduates uh, from college and gets a job. I mean, a, a counter argument would be we need students with communication and argumentative skills with a baseline of linguistic aptitude. And that's true, but more important, I think, is for that student to be tech savvy so that student can get a memo from his boss have AI interpret the memo accurately, have AI respond to the memo with a writing uh, task that's going to be done uh, much faster and, and much more effective than that uh, employee can do. So I could imagine that people in the near future could probably get away with not having to write long-term um, 
crafted compositions as we've traditionally done it. You will have to, to uh, know your technology and be able to use AI. I just see that going away. Uh, number two, I see there's a tendency with technology to abbreviate everything to bullet points. And what this does is this shortens our attention span. Let me give you a couple examples. The Daily Beast is an online news magazine that takes trending topics and it condenses these news uh, topics into little sound bites. And if you want, you can click to the original source if you want to read the longer article. But I doubt most of us do. Most of us probably just skim the trending news topics. Twitter is very similar. Twitter, uh, you could just skim all day long. And you could click on the original news source on Twitter if you want, but I doubt you do. Uh, we're not lazy. Our brains are just hardwired on this default setting for the path of least resistance. So this whole tendency with technology to abbreviate everything, to convert everything into a, a bullet point, that's contrary to the craft of writing. And I see that as another force that could just, uh, boom, blow a dagger into the, uh, into the composition college uh, instructor. The third thing I want to tell you that I think presents an existential crisis to the college composition instructor is we have a new way to evaluate the instructor. It's not the intangibles that we want to use, like your humor, your storytelling abilities, your irony, your personality, your charisma. I mean, we can talk about intangibles all day long, but you know what my boss told us in a meeting less than a year ago? The number one uh, metric that students use to sign up uh, for a class is Rate My Professor. I've been hearing students tell me they use Rate My Professor for over 15 years. It is really the, the default setting for uh, our students. Now, the reviews on Rate My Professor are not that credible. I mean, students aren't evaluating on the basis of how effective the instructor is, but how easy the instructor is. And what happens is, when you have a metric system based on how easy the instructor is, that's going to dumb down the curriculum. An instructor is not going to try to dumb down the curriculum, but what's going to happen is gradually, as students take the classes from the uh, higher rated instructors, i.e. easier instructors, and avoid the more difficult instructors, there will be a gradual dumbing down of curriculum, because after all, a college is a business, and a business needs consumers. A business needs revenue. So I see that happening. What am I going to do to stay relevant? Well, I want to talk about this in another video. I'm going to probably lecture less and have the students write more in class with what is called scaffolding, where you write the essay brick by brick. This way I can see how the students are really doing in case uh, they do commit plagiarism. I'll talk about scaffolding in another uh, video. God, I have to stay current. I mean, I'm this I'm this close to becoming a fossilized uh, skeleton of a dinosaur. All right, tell me what you think of these technological changes as they threaten the existential uh, presence of a college composition instructor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, I'm out.